What's going on guys? Great Disciple back with another gameplay. Alright, so in the background, I know, you're probably shocked. You're like, is, is that really a Gorgon? <laughs> yes, it is really a Gorgon. I was going back through some of my videos and uh, I came across it and I was like, you know what? I don't think I've ever uploaded a video using the Gorgon. Now this, this gameplay, you guys, this was from way back before I had Dark Matter. I was uh, going through the LMGs. You know, I did the Dingo and the BRM right off the bat. Okay, that was easy. Then I moved on to the Dredge. I saved the Gorgon till the end. Let me tell you, in my opinion, the best setup on the Gorgon, or at least it was before they did some things to the gun. I used the BOA sight. I tried every single sight on this gun, okay? Uh, I used the BOA. I used a rapid fire, which is key on this gun. And then I used the stock. Even though I head glitch a lot, I still like to be able to sidestep back and forth. And headshots came really easy with this gun. It didn't take me long to get camo. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I think I'm playing with uh, Lightning Strike, Hellstorm, and the Hardened Sentry. Uh, Lightning Strike and Hellstorm on Redwood are very difficult to use because of the trees. You end up hitting the trees a lot. A lot of fails in there. But, um,. And then, what, what what else did I want to tell you about the gun? Oh, and I'm running the MR6 as a secondary. I get a nice mega kill mid-game that you saw at the beginning. Oh, I love that thing. And then towards the very end of the game, I get a frenzy kill, which should have been an ultra, but I missed one guy, which broke the pattern of the kill. Oh, man. It was a crazy streak. You'll see it at the end of the game, so, end of the game, so stay tuned for that. Sorry. What I wanted to ask you... It, it's a question about specialists. You know, I've done videos on specialists, like what's the best one to use. I, I find myself these days, I use primarily one, maybe this other one. You know, when, when I play Domination, TDM, Free For All, pretty much anything I'm doing, I'm running Seraph Combat Focus. It's the only one that really makes sense to me. You know, I'm a hardcore player, so all the guns kill really quick. There's no reason in running a lethal specialist. As for the non-lethal, you know, sometimes I'll play with kinetic armor. I just find it kind of stupid. It doesn't really work the way that I want it to. The invisibility guy, if he was invisible longer, or if you didn't come out of invisibility once you killed someone, I would probably use it more. But it just seems pointless. You know, you get it for like four and a half seconds. As soon as you shoot or knife, you're not invisible anymore. So just, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. But, and then Vision Pulse. I use Vision Pulse a lot when I'm playing Free For All. You'll notice anytime I'm in a Free For All, if I use Vision Pulse, I am specifically going for a nuked out. If I'm using Seraph Combat Focus in a Free For All, I'm going for a very fast Free For All. But there's one specialist in particular that I find absolutely worthless. There's been many videos about it, but I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. And it's the Nomad Rejack. Now, first off, if you guys are going for your kills to get the, the hero gear, the easiest way to do it, and I, I talked about this before, is work your way into the enemy spawn on Domination. When you have your specialist ready, blow yourself up with the C4, pop your specialist, run into their spawn, and try to kill two or three guys. It is the easiest way to do it, and it is very effective. It'll take you about five games. Play with really low streaks like a UAV counter UAV care package because you're going to be killing yourself off of your streaks all the time in this challenge. Okay, just keep that in mind. It, it is effective, but here's how I would fix Rejack. And I think this would work. How about instead of popping out of a, a what, what does Thunder call it? A Kush cloud? Green Kush? Uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. How about this? When you get your specialist, right? You can put down a beacon. You activate your specialist and you have five seconds to place a beacon down, like attack insert. So you can place it right outside the enemy spawn or right outside of the B flag in domination, okay? You run around and the enemies can see this beacon just like attack insert so they can destroy it, all right? So it's not OP, all right? Also, when you get killed, you automatically spawn in there. There's no way to cancel it out like the old tack search. You have to spawn in. And plus, when you get killed, how about it puts up like a little poof of green smoke so the enemy knows he just tacked. He just tack inserted, he's gonna come back. All right, that would be fair. Also, I think what they should do is whatever gun streak you're on, you get to continue on that gun streak. So if you're on a merciless and you get killed but you have your beacon, you can spawn back in, you're still on your merciless working your way to a ruthless. I think more people would use it. And, and then as for score streak, I think if you're on a streak, you should lose half of your score streak. So if you're on a 900, you drop down to 450. If you're on a 300 getting close to a UAV, you drop back down to a 150. 
I think those three remedies to that specialist would cause people to use it more. And I don't think it makes it overpowered. I think number one, it makes it a more viable option in objective game modes. Number two, it encourages people who are trying to get nuclears and go on gun streaks to use it to continue those streaks. And number three, there's a beneficial side of it with score streaks if people have a difficulty earning the higher score streaks without dying. I think that it would help and I think people would start using it more. As, a, as it is right now, you guys, if somebody's using Rejack, it's a, it's a free double kill for anybody who's good at this game. I mean, there is no way to use that specialist unless you do it the way that I told you, where you blow yourself up and then activate it while an enemy's not looking at you. It took me three games to unlock that, get whatever it was, I think six or whatever double kills to get to the, the hero gear. I refuse to do the hero gear on that guy. Refuse. All right, you guys, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. As always, leave a comment down below and subscribe for more. And tell me what your favorite specialist is in the game. See you later.